Yo, peoples, Kyushu92 here. Like I said uh, last week, we don't have any One Piece chapters or My Hero Academia chapters today on this beautiful of Sundays. But we do have a new episode of One Piece, so welcome back to Kyushu Views Anime. Onwards to the next episode, so let's get it started! In the last episode of One Piece, the Straw Hats and the Samurai finally arrived at Onigashima. Look at the place. Luffy goes out of control, sneaking into Kaido's banquet. Why is Orochi so big? He was not that big when he was younger, way back when, when he was with Odin. Like, he was, when he was younger, and he served under Yasuye, dude was small. Now Orochi's so big, he can literally hold people in his hands now, like they're dolls? Orochi doesn't know that all of the samurai survived, and Kanjido's plans, though, are, you know, opposite of what he told him. This is what happens when you, are, when you think you're so high and mighty, that you just think everything's going your way. But, I mean, the samurai have pretty much proven that they're far more tenacious than Orochi is destructive. I gotta be honest with you, I will never get tired of the aesthetic of Onigashima. It's like if an Oni lived here and decided to customize it to his own liking, but he had a love for everything Japanese. Memories of Odin, memories of Lady Toki... And the final time they were there, before they were thrust into the future. The raid has kicked off! It's about to go down! The raid has begun! Eastern forces led by Kinemon. The southern forces led by Denjiro. I'm not even intentionally reading the subtitles. The subtitles are saying the exact thing I'm saying. I'm not reading the subtitles, so sorry if it seems like I'm doing that, but... And then you got the polar tang. Sorry if it seems like I'm reading exactly what the subtitles are saying, but they just happen to be saying the exact thing that I'm thinking of. And all the Beast Pirates are just drinking and partying their lives away like ain't nothing going on. Kid's already making his way forward. See, the, rival the rivalry between Luffy and Kid, I mean, it's still just as persistent now as it was back then, way back on Saba Odi. And Kid, frankly, does not care about the plan of the samurai. Zoro is telling Luffy, he's, Zoro's telling Jinbei that he's going to stop Luffy before Luffy makes things worse. Don't, doesn't Zoro realize that if he gets involved too, he'll, he's liable to make things worse too? And the Beast Pirates are still partying. Now, I will say this. Sorry, I got hypnotized there for a second. <laughs> Kanjudo. He done bound up Momonosuke in rope and a, and a mouth gag. See, here's the thing, Luffy. This is supposed to be an operation that's supposed to be done professionally. I believe you screaming to the top of your lungs as you're trying to stop Kid and the rest of them is... So, you're pretty much just drawing too much attention to yourself, dude. But, mm, mm, I'm, I'm speaking about Luffy, and he doesn't exactly do subtle, so. Hey. Actually, you know what? I think I can rescind over what I said the last time. Kind of doesn't matter if Luffy is screaming at the top of his lungs, if there's already a massively loud party going on in Onigashima. Him screaming is probably going to sound like him just enjoying himself to everyone else. I don't know why I was worried. Zoro, who has no trouble getting his hands on some booze, is far more concerned about fighting Luffy right now. It shows you just how serious Zoro can be. Especially when it comes to matters that he would just normally brush off. It's the Brachial Tank of Fire! Haven't seen this baby since Fishman Island. Commander Chopper! 
Wasn't I just talking about how much Chopper enjoys being in charge whenever he's in these vehicles? And now they got him in this one in this episode. It feels like it lines up perfectly. Are y'all just now realizing that Luffy is gone? Jinbei, you're starting to understand the dynamics of this crew. What are you thinking about, Sanji? Oh, don't do, don't do that. Don't do, don't do that. That was not that was definitely not in the chapter. <laughs> Sanji got blocked. And then Brooke taking Robin's place riding on the Brachio uh, the uh, Black Rhino. You could see just how disappointed Frankie was for a brief second. Like, uh, I don't get Robin to ride with me. Uh Okay, whatever. Robin and Jinbei walking together, you have the two most mature members of the Straw Hat crew. Oh, who's watching them? Yeah, you don't say that. You don't say that to a woman. Well, it appears that the dynamics of the Tobi Ropo is, well, they may be part of a group, but that doesn't necessarily mean they like each other. See, you're making fun of the people that were so nice to Zoro way back when. Wait. Wait. Wait, what was that? I'm sorry, anime, what are you doing? And Queen's back to... Queen's back to singing his song again. Uh-oh. See, making fun of the people in of Okobori Town in front of Zoro, warranting him almost drowning a dude in booze. But now Luffy is hearing them badmouth the people of Okobori Town. See, y'all doing a very dangerous thing. They're wasting the Oshiruko. And they're doing it in front of Luffy. Oh, y'all about to die. There it is. There it is, right there. There's the angry moment right there. There it is. He's mad now. On the next episode of One Piece, thinking of Otama, Luffy's furious strike. The worst thing you could ever do is get Luffy angry. And they did it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the uh, Luffy after attempting to try and find Kid, sees the Beast Pirates enjoying themselves, but also hears them bad-mouthing Otama and all the poor people of Okobori Town, and how they pretty much do not care about the citizens whatsoever. Now, we all know how Luffy is. When you become friends with Luffy, he takes your hopes and dreams very seriously. Especially if they're extremely practical ones, such as Otama wanting to be able to eat good food for the rest of her life. Because, you know, with the current state of Wano, anyone who doesn't follow Orochi pretty much lives outside of the flower capital and is left to fend for themselves. So with Luffy, if your desire, if you're friends with him and you have a desire that you want to see come true and Luffy says he's going to make it happen... He takes that very seriously. And when people badmouth his friends, people that, you know, do nice stuff for him, like give him food or save his life or whatever, he takes anything said against his friends very, very personally. It's like the Immortal Hulk. Whenever someone hurts Banner, the Immortal Hulk or the Devil Hulk, he says, I take it extremely personal when you hurt the little guy. I take it personally. And we kind of already seen what happens to people when they mess with Banner and then they have to deal with the Devil Hulk. It's uh it's not good. That same that same uh metaphor applies. That same example applies to anyone who is friends with Luffy. You do anything or even badmouth his friends, Luffy's going to take it personally and um it's probably not a good idea to be around him. Especially if you're like a rival pirate crew that he is looking to beat. Yeah, it's not going to end well for them.
And seeing as how Luffy went to try and stop Kid from causing a commotion, it seems like Luffy's going to be the one to start it. It does not surprise me. Luffy is pretty much the out of every single one of the out of the two of Kid and Luffy. Luffy is the one that you really got to watch out for for starting some mess. Uh, this isn't going to be good. This isn't going to be good for the Beast Pirates, but that was that episode. It was great, and I'm looking forward to the next one. But we all know what's going to happen in the next one when it's titled on the next episode of One Piece, thinking of Otama Luffy's Furious Strike. Yeah, Luffy's gonna... So much for this plan being uh, starting out subtly. So we'll just have to see. I'm rambling. I'm sorry. Uh, that's it. I like the episode. Um, you guys let me know what you thought of this episode as a whole. So with that being said, hope y'all enjoyed. Can't wait to see you all in my next video. And if you're new to the channel and you enjoyed what you saw here today, then consider subscribing because I am always looking forward to entertaining you. So have a fantastic day. And once again, as always, later, peoples.